Hello everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Metro Zero Mission. Let's get into the game. So last time, we went down to Crate's Lair, defeated some more enemies via the giant worm, and we're a few steps closer to Crate. Now, right now, we're supposed to go down toward Crate. There's a lot of stuff down here, so it's probably going to be a while. Let's go. You can't go to the store yet because there's something else we need to do in there. So right here, when you shoot these blocks right there, go in here. So now with the power back on, be able to write this. Go into morph mode and do this because these blocks are here. Now, if we go up here, I can open this door. Now, this guy, what I like to do with this guy is I like to have a charge shot ready, shoot as many times. Just get hit once and shoot lots of misses at him. That kills him. I'll go through. And this is a really easy missile tank. <coughs> now, now go to my town here. See, there's an enemy down there. It looks like the one up top. Bomb the floor. And it's fake acid. It's an optical illusion. Go all the way down. <coughs> go to the store. Now, you want to remember these two hallways right here. You definitely want to remember this crack right here for later. I keep going, because there's still more to do. Now, this room. I want to kill these <coughs> hoppers first. And I want to go up and bomb the floor each. Destroy those pegs up there. Now go over here, bomb this one again, shoot that, go in here, <coughs> wait for the conveyor belt, bomb this and go up, at least right to the missile tank. <coughs> so let's keep going. This room, go up here, shoot that block with a missile, go back, go up. This room, shoot that, go up here, bomb this, and go up here. If you bomb that, it will just disappear. So. Lots of enemies here. Now, yeah. up here, this room is very important. The map station. You get the entire map of Crates Lair, or Prince Star Depths. You see, there's a little bit more to do. No, that's done. Go in here. Shoot yourselves up. <coughs> this is another missile tank, but this part is kind of complicated. They got lay like, two bombs in the uh, right order. So, so if you do this right. Yes, I did it in the first try. Sometimes I could take like many tries to do, but it saves time. I'll do it the first try. 
Okay. Go back up here. Go to the store. Can't go to the store yet. So we need to go down to that cracked floor I was talking about. Go that way. No, we're not. Just try to wall jump there, so I'll just go over here. Let's take the long way. We bomb this floor. Go through it. Then more of these blocks. Go through it again. Oh. Get on this platform. Shoot this block. Shoot that wall and go in here. Now we get another unknown item. So now, we go to the back we came. Shoot that block through the crack. Go through here. I can just go through there, it saves time. Go through here. Try to avoid as many things as possible, because there are a lot of them. I should heal up the Teresa statue. Here's another save room. Now we'll go in here. Now this door we can't do any much yet. Go down here. And shoot this block. Okay. Is there anything over here? No. So in this room, have your missiles ready because there's an eye door. These eye doors see if there's a boss door. So we have uh, four or three missiles going in the crate. Let's go. Now for crate, what we do is we do shoot his eye. We shoot his eye, he'll start roaring. When he roars, so that's your chance to shoot missiles in his mouth. Now, when it, in this phase of the fight where he destroys the platform right there, his claw is very tedious. He'll have to hit you on that platform. But on the NES, uh, Kraid was basically as tall as Samus. So it was a pretty pathetic fight. But since the power of the Game Boy Advance, it's a lot more powerful. I've seen speedrunners beat the sky while it's coming up with the ground. Now, when he gets on health like this, destroy all the platforms. So his only way to attack is to attack you with the spikes growing out of his belly button or his claws issued out. Now I'm running a little missiles. I thought you could go through it, but you can't. His claws give you missiles and health. Oh, almost dead. Yes, he's dead. One missile left. That opens with the eyes of Crate of Sinny's head.
He explodes, gives us health and missiles, bomb this, and it gives us the speed booster, and I'm introducing Super Metroid. Run into speed against the break. Certain blocks and damage enemies. So I'll heal up here. We have 60 missiles now. Might end this off soon. So what we do is we run, we start pick up speed. What I do is keep shooting. Go right through these guys. Then keep running. Boom, you're in here. So this part's kind of tricky. So with these blue blocks again, what you want to do is you want to shoot these blocks to at a point where you can jump on them. This guy can be jerkish right here, but if you can tough it out, you get right there. Ugh. Oh no, I fell. I thought that was going to happen. Okay, I'll wait for these blocks. Ah! Oh. For some reason, it didn't grab onto the ledge. Just killed the guy right here. This lag isn't helping either. Jump up here. And now we save. So, we're gonna end this off here. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. That's working. I'll see you guys next time.